and Allison here with your vulnerability report. Before we get started, we would like to remind everyone to make sure they always have their IDs with them as they are part of your uniform. Next should ha never happen after school. Please be sure to promptly leave campus or go to the cafeteria. If they are staying for an activity, please move quickly to the cafeteria and wait for your teacher to pick you up. Also, Wednesdays and Fridays are free from any and all after school activities. Please be sure to collect your siblings and leave campus promptly after school on, on those days. Just a reminder that your attendance is extremely important to your success here at MCCAD. We love to see your smiling faces here every day, so make sure that you do everything in your power to be here daily. T today marks uh, our last weeks before winter break, but that doesn't mean that there aren't lessons to learn and work to be done. S stay on your best behavior throughout the week so we so we can all end 2018 on a positive note. Today we have quick, quite a few stories for you and to kick things off, here, here is Ariana with her week's lunch and healthy tip. Thank you Allison and Alonzo and good morning to you. Roadrunners. I am Ariana and I'm here with your lunch menu and here's your healthy tip for the week. Today we will have chicken drumstick, drumsticks with onion rings and a corn dog or chicken Caesar salad as your entrees and sweet potatoes tater tots, applesauce and a fresh pear as your sides. Today our menu will be all beef hot dogs, bean and cheese burritos, chicken Caesar salad with steamed corn fruit cocktail and a fresh honeydew melt. Wednesday we are having a red chili chicken or green chili cheese tamale with seasoned pinto beans, diced mango fruit, fresh fruit and a raspberry churro. Thursday we get Winter Wonderland Nuggets with a dinner roll, green beans, peaches, fresh fruit, and a Christmas tree sugar cookie. The healthy tip for the week is get enough sleep. The, more, the importance of getting enough quality sleep cannot be overstated. It may be as important as a diet and exercise, if not more. Poor sleep can drive insulin residents throw your appetite hormones out of whack and reduce your physical and mental performance. What is more, what's more, it is one of the strongest individual risk factors for future weight gain and obesity. One study showed that the short sleep was linked to 89 increased risk of obesity in children and 55% in adults. Thank you for watching. Back to you, Allison and Alonzo. Wow, Ariana, that all sounds fantastic. Now time for study tips. We go now live to Joseph to help you improve your grades. Good morning and thank you, Allison and Alonzo. My name is Joseph Mendoza and I'm here with your weekly study tip. Today we'll, we'll be talking about spacing it out. A new learning technique is called spaced uh, repetition, involving breaking up information into small chunks in, and reviewing them constantly and over a long time period. So don't try to memorize an entire multiplication chart in one sitting. Instead, learn a few rows every day and review each lesson before starting any anything new. Just remember, space out your information into small chunks and you'll remember your material better and longer. That is all, today. That is all for today. I hope the study tips help um, helps you. This has been Joseph. Back to you, Allison and Alonso and Allison. I guess the more you know, the better you will do. Thank you, Joseph, for, the, for that. Next up is it's weekly riddle. Take it away, Jacob. Good morning, Roadrunners. I am Sophie Flores. Last week's 
classrooms gave an answer to our riddles, but we encourage you to, to do so this week. Maybe they were a bit too hard, so here are the answers. If six children and two dogs were under an umbrella, how come none of them got wet? The answer is, it wasn't raining, and the riddle for fifth through eighth grade may have heard me, but no one has seen me, and I would and I will not speak back until spoken to. When am I? The answer is an echo. Last, let's look at now at the ones for this week. For kinder through fourth grade classes, what has to be broken before you can use it? The riddle for fifth through eighth grade is drum roll please. One has one eye but cannot see. I know they may be tough, but post your answers in the comments below and get your answers as soon as, as possible because others are fighting to keep their their streak going. Thank you, Rotators. I am Sophie with the Weekly Riddle. I have have a nice day. Back to you, Alonzo and Allison. Um, I, I am not sure about those. Good luck. Thank you, Drago. Now let's go to our on this day with Rosendo. Thank, thank you Alonso and Allison. My name is Rosendo and I am here today to share what happened on this day in history. On this day, December 17th, 1989, The Simpsons created by Matt premieres on Fox TV as a full animated series with the episode Simpsons roasting on a on an open fire. Also, on this day in 1903, the, the Wright brothers m make this first sustained motorized aircraft fly at 10.35 a.m., piloted by Orville Wright at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Finally, on this day in 1986, Miss Div Divine Thompson makes medical history by having the first heart, lung, and liver trans transplant at Patworth Hospital in Cambridge, England. Tune in next time to see more on this day. Thank you. This has been Rosendo. Back to you, Haiti and April. So cool. Thank you, Rosendo. Next, we start a new seg segment where we can find one student who has been exceptional maybe by providing great behavior or just based on the good choices they have always made here to share more if Sally was the was this week star student good morning and thank you I am Kitsali here with your your star student report we have searched through the school to find that one student who has shown growth and great effort and this week we want to give a shout out to Kevin Alvarado in Miss Morgan's class. Um, the student I chose for my student of the week this week is Kevin. I chose Kevin because he's hard working, he's kind, he's caring not only to his classmates but also to um, teachers and staff around MC Cash. Uh, he also sets extremely high goals for himself. He works hard to reach them and also helps his peers reach his goals as well. Nice job, Kevin. Thank you. This has been Ketali. Back to you. Thank you. Not only are, are our teachers great, but here we have amazing students as well. Thank you. The Dolly Sports are well underway here at MC Cash. So next up, we, we, up, we have we have sports with Helen. Hello, good morning, and thank you, Alonzo and Allison. My name is Josue filling in for Helen, and I am here with your sports for last week and what is coming up this week. Last week was an excited week for sports. On Tuesday, we played Cheatham in both, so in both soccer and volleyball. Though we fought hard and our players pushed themselves to the limits, we lost both games. Thursday, however, was our comeback day for soccer. Our board runners overcame Shawside and the victory really lifted our players. Our volleyball team played hard against Shawside but fell in defeat. Regardless, we are all rooting for you and all, and we are proud of you representing our school. That's all for sports. I'm Josue. Back to you, Alonzo and Allison. I'm so proud of our teams. Thank you, Abraham, for our last story. Today we are going to Jocelyn, who will, who this week at cash. Good morning, Rotorans. I am Jocelyn the Unicorn, here to give you a sneak peek into what happened last week 
here in MC Cash. Last week, we had our first annual winter festival with lights, food, activities, and of course, music. So, by, by our wonderful kindergarten through fourth grade levels, our cash chorus and band, this was a resorting successful and we want to give a huge thank you to our teachers who spent time preparing activities, decorating doors, and just showing so much love for us and our families. A huge thanks goes to our all of our amazing performance. The students and in the grade level ensembles, cash chorus, and band did a spectacular job performance and all the students that came to perform made the night super special. Everyone did such a fantastic job and we can't wait to see everyone at the next concert. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you, this has been Jocelyn the Unicorn and now back to our broadcast. That looks like so much fun. Well, that is all for this week. This is has this has been Alonzo and Allison. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.